Hey everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So we've had some pretty big news coming out of the state of California recently with respect to the Second Amendment. News that I'm sure has Gavin Newsom staring at the wall wondering where he went wrong in life. But it looks like Californians might have their Second Amendment rights restored fairly soon. We've seen movement in Duncan v. Bonta. We've seen movement in Miller v. Bonta. And today we're going to talk about some pretty big movement, as a matter of fact, in Rena v. Bonta, which challenges California's unconstitutional handgun roster. So let's talk about what happened and what the big news is. Stay tuned. This video is sponsored by Warwood Tools. You ever heard the phrase, they don't make them like that anymore? That's because most things are made by robots or overseas, not at Warwood Tools. They make their tools here in the US from US materials since 1854. Warwood tools are designed to the highest standard for industrial grade applications. This right here is the Warwood Tools 12 pound sledgehammer, which will take on just about any job you throw at it. So if you support American workers and American made products, check out the link below to Warwood Tools. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about what's going on here. Now, if you live in the state of California, you probably already know what the roster is. If you don't, I'll give you just a quick rundown. Basically, it's a list of approved safe for sale handguns in the state of California. This list has not been updated in a long time. If you look at the list and you just kind of go over everything that's there, it's almost like looking back in time, like looking back in history at what used to be available because it's pretty much put a freeze on anything new coming into that state for well, uh, over a decade now. Uh, anything new that's gone on has been very rare, few and far between. As a matter of fact, there's now a law that says that if anything new gets added to the list, they have to remove three things that are currently on the list, eventually bringing it down to a near zero. So it's basically a ban on anything new. The criteria is so strong in order to get something on that roster that nothing new ever shows up. For instance, micro stamping. Nobody's doing micro stamping. And if it doesn't have that micro stamping in multiple locations, it can't get on the roster, right? So again, people are stuck to Gen 3s and Gen 1s and stuff like that. That's all you can find. The roster is basically a handgun ban in the state of California Then it only gets worse every single year. So that's just a basic rundown of what the roster is. It's basically a government approved list. So with that being said, there is a case that's challenging the roster and that's gonna be Rena v. Bonta. This case has been around for years. It's undergone some changes and some modifications, but it's kind of at the end phase now. We've had some pretty big movement in this case. Uh, judge Sabra, who is a federal judge, recently heard this case on February 10th of 2023. He has all the information that he needs. He's basically gone through everything. He's heard from the plaintiffs. He's heard from the defendants. And we could see at any time now, I mean, it, it could come as early as today, we could see an injunction halting enforcement of that roster. Or if he wanted to, which is something that the plaintiffs are actually asking for, he can simply overturn that law altogether and completely wipe it away. So we could be seeing the end of the roster any day now, which would be massive in the state of California. I mean, absolutely massive. As somebody who lived there for 42 years, I could tell you the roster was one of the worst things that that state had to offer. Now I'm gonna put something up on the screen real quick and I'm gonna read it as well because the text is kind of small, but this is FPC statement on the February 10th court hearing. It'll give you a little bit more insight as to how this case is going and what we can expect and what happened in that hearing. So let me go ahead and read this real quick. On Friday, February 10th, the court held a hearing on FPC's motion for preliminary injunction slash summary judgment in our Rena v. Bonta 2A case challenging California's handgun roster laws. As this court previously noted in a 2021 pre-Bruin order, quote, plaintiffs have sufficiently pled the Unsafe Handgun Act substantially impacts their Second Amendment rights and thus burdens conduct protected by the amendment, end quote. There's no question that we are in 2A covered territory in this case. In Friday's hearing, our counsel explained that all of the roster provisions operate together to ban protected guns and that the state has not disputed that many of the guns are banned. So under Bruin, this means what we are seeking to do by common handguns is covered by the text and all of the roster provisions should fall together indeed. Under Bruin, it's the state's burden to defend its laws using constitutionally relevant history. It did not and cannot do so. 
We argued that the state shouldn't be allowed to continue denying sales of off-roster handguns since their own declaration shows that only 32 of the 800 on the roster today have two of the mechanisms they are requiring under the roster laws, and that these so-called unsafe off-roster guns are materially indistinguishable in basic function from the handguns that are on the roster. Moreover, evidence shows the roster's underlying no-new-guns policy has meant that Californians have been denied access to better, more refined designs and safety enhancements over the past 15 years, so the more modern guns may actually be safer. Following the hearing, the court issued a minute entry, starting in part, Court to prepare order. So unless the court orders further briefing or argument, the next step will be for the court to make a decision on our motion. There is no deadline for the court to act on the motion. However, it wouldn't be surprising if the decision was not issued in the coming months rather than the year plus it took for the same decision pre-Bruin. So that was a lot of information. If you can get past the fact that I've been losing my voice for the past few weeks and just trying to get over you know, sinus infection, the end there where it said that the court was preparing its minutes and the start of those minutes said that uh, the court was to prepare an order basically means that there's more than likely not going to be any more uh, information requested from either parties. Either party, both the defendants and the plaintiffs, have given all the information that they have to give to the court on this one right here. So the court basically just has to take this information now and has to come up with an order. More than likely, we're going to see an injunction. That's that's my opinion on this. I think that we're going to see an injunction. However, be, just because the evidence is on our side uh, and Bruin is on our side, we could see a summary judgment. We could see the roster just completely taken away altogether. So an injunction or summary judgment is coming. It could happen today. It could happen tomorrow. It could happen a few months from now. Like it said, there is no time frame in which they have to complete this. But because we are in a post-ruin world now and that this case has gone through the system multiple times, uh, we're more than likely going to see something happen sooner rather than later. So again, in my opinion, I think that we are at the end of the roster here. I think you guys in the state of California are about to have a major to a win. So we'll stay on top of this one and I'll get you guys information as soon as it comes down. So I want to thank the FPC very much. I want to thank you guys for staying on top of your rights and, you know, helping to push this stuff forward because if it wasn't for you, if it wasn't for people, you know, speaking out about it, nobody would even care. So again, I want to thank you all very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and you guys have a great day.